what they want us to vote to kill. Fully formed, little baby, 12 weeks. I just think we should have the right choice. A vote no. Be going, yes. I'll be voting no. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. I'm still very undecided. <laughs> Right now in Ireland, we're just weeks away from a referendum on the Eighth Amendment. The Eighth Amendment is a law in our constitution which essentially equates the life of the mother to that of the unborn. We are trying to allow women to have access to safe abortion here uh, on the island of Ireland. It makes me so angry that every day women in crisis situations aren't given the adequate and appropriate health care. It makes me angry that we have been made feel that we're asking for something extra when really we're just asking to own something that is already ours, the right to our own autonomy. Most farmers will keep their opinions to themselves anyway as such, you know. I suppose most urban people would probably vote yes, I think most rural people maybe will be on the no side. Majority, I'd say they'd vote no. In certain circumstances, yes, the, the mother would have to look after now. But just to go out and get pregnant and just say, yeah, I can do in your own country and aborted it, like, I, don't, I wouldn't agree with that, no way. You're killing a human life, You're, it's, it's the very same as murder. The unborn like, has, no, has no say in this. All the people that I see that's voting yes, if their mothers and fathers voted for abortion in 1983, half of them wouldn't be alive today. There is a higher support for abortion in Dublin, but outside of Dublin there isn't. As people inform themselves and realise that what the government are offering is abortion on demand, on very similar grounds to what's available in Britain, they don't want that. Abortion is not the compassionate response to a difficulty in a pregnancy. What women need during pregnancy at any stage is support, not help to end the life of their child. I'm canvassing because I don't believe in 2018 anybody should have to do that journey. This procedure could have happened in my own home country and for me not to have to travel. And I was really lucky because I wasn't sick, everything went you know, smoothly. That's not the case for a lot of people, that it should be able to happen in your own country. see other posters everywhere and everyone's talking about it no matter what age even my little brother's in school so everyone's involved in this so it feels really important most of my friends would say they would vote yes and I would class myself as feminist as well so if you think about women's rights but I think rather than just deciding abortion straight away and giving up the rights of a child we should talk about other ways that we can support women around if they do feel like they need to go for abortion I mean babies fetus whatever you want to call them they st I still believe that they have rights as well there's no, there's no reason why any man should feel that they shouldn't vote or that this isn't their issue. We're, we're going to make the difference in this vote here. Um, and for the amount of female friends that I have showing their support for the repeal, uh, the repeal side and vote yes, um, it means a lot to them and it's their bodies at the end of the day. It's not, their, it's not our body, but it's definitely, it's definitely our choice whether we give the, the people in our, in our sort of family circle, in our circle of friends, uh, the, the choice to, to their own choice with their own bodies.